Today we're looking at the new Ubuntu 1504 Vivid Vervet, the Alpha 2 release, Alpha Alpha 2 version was released. Of course, by no means it's the finished version. I want the full release won't be out till the end of April. Um, so these are the ten things um, I will install myself after installing Ubuntu 1504. The first thing we're going to do is do an update. So just type in up on the dash home. You can drag your you can drag your update lawn updater down down to, down to your dash and click on your update manager. Software update or they call it now. Now sometimes you get this image here. Uh, fail to download repositories, or you get this. Uh, check your internet connection. Or uh, but eventually, after clicking a few times and stuff like that, I was able to do an update on it. So I did an update. That was the first thing I did. And then what I did was uh, I did a restart on the machine. So I'm gonna click stop on that update as it has been updated. So the next thing I'm going to install is the, if you open say the file manager, and you look it's using the global menus here. So you're going to change that to your local menus. So go into system settings. I have it actually opened here. And into your appearance, behavior, and you see where it show at the menus for a window in the menu title bar. So now you see, if I minimize that, you can see your menus are here in the title bar. I think that's easier to move the mouse from just a day rather than up here all the time. Um, it's using a version, of course, uh, GNOME um, files 3.1.4.2. So the next thing I would install in it now is I'd open the Ubuntu Software Center. And we go back to system settings first for one, a couple of things here. Um, your appearance. You can change your wallpaper from here. So we're going to change the wallpaper. I think these are the 1410 wallpapers and uh, the, the 1504 wallpapers haven't been released yet. And um, I'm looking to see which one I change it to. So um, that didn't work straight away, not to worry. We're going now to security and privacy. This is an important part. Um, require my password when waiting for my suspend so I can turn that off, I turn off passwords and stuff. Files. So this will record what applications you're searching for in your dash home here. So I've checked, of course, up uh, software updates and, and the software updater. So you can turn that off if you want. You can clear, clear your usage data here. In the search box then, you can in include online search results. You can turn that off or turn it on. And then in diagnostics, you can send error reports and occasional system information to Canonical if you want only. Uh, another thing too in the all settings is uh, brightness and lock. Sometimes your machine will lock after the screen goes um, 10 minutes. So I usually turn that lock in the off position because you're, you're constantly putting in your password every time you go to your machine. Now the next thing we're going to install is we're going to open the Ubuntu Software Center. And we're going to install restricted extras, that's what they're called. And um, it allows you to play like DVDs, MP3s, um, MP4s, AVIs, whatever um, you throw at it, it should play it once you install the restricted extras. So I'm just going to type in restricted. And you see the Ubuntu restricted extras. Click on install on that. You need your password for this. So it's applying change now for the restricted extras. Next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my Firefox web browser. So I can't see Firefox in the launcher. Just hit the dash home and just type in FIRE and you can drag that then to the launcher. We'll open the Firefox browser. I want to change my home page rather than having the Ubuntu Google search page on it. I'd rather just change my home page to, I think usually I use Google. And there's a lot of customization here with the new Firefox. So HTTPS www.google.ie and just hit enter. You can see your home button is on this side. You can change that. We can also customize. So rather than having our buttons on the right hand side, I think it's handier if you're running uh, Ubuntu um, to move your fa favorite icons to the left hand side. So here's your downloads. And to manage it, I don't use this second search engine and then exit your customization. So it keeps everything on the left. Um, 
we go back here to the it's applying now for the restricted extras or installing so we pause the video on that until this is done okay it seems that um, the Ubuntu software center has frozen so that's fine I can actually exit off it will force uh, quit and I said um, as we, if we right click on the desktop of course you can change your background from here the background didn't change for me I can change the launcher icon size from here so it's a bit small it depends on the size of your screen and depends on how many icons you have in your launcher another thing I wanted to show you was the additional drivers if you have a, a NVIDIA graphics card you need to install additional drivers so just type in ADD and it's searching for available drivers we'll open the software center again we'll X this off and you see you have a force quit on it if you need to and again it's alpha 2 and you can see here are the additional drivers it's using the Novu driver here Novu display driver and to be honest with you um, I haven't really seen it working properly since 1204 so I have a, a pretty new NVIDIA card it depends on the version of the NVIDIA card you have but there's, there's two versions here there's a 304 and a 331 so if you have an older card a 304 is suitable if you have a fairly new card in the last year the 331 is the one to install so I'll apply changes on that again it'll look for a password and when that's if you have a say an Intel graphics card there's no proprietary drivers needed and if you have say a ATI card um, it can be a little sometimes tricky to get drivers for them now they, they are starting to support Linux um, in the more um, lately like but um, I said NVIDIA is the best card to have on your machine or Intel I suppose most cards are probably you know in that range NVIDIA or Intel or ATI now but ATI is the least supported card um, of course you can see compass is running in the background the way, the way the icons open and close and of course once the card the proper software is installed for the card you're going to install the likes of steam and play steam games and stuff like that and um, so it's important that you have a fairly good graphics card and um, that's it um, alpha 2 I won't be doing any more videos until it's released and um, thanks for watching